Wow, look at all this food. Oh, you're wondering how I got all this with only one goat pen? It's pretty easy using this one simple technique that I'm about to tell you. Any new or old players will be very pleased after seeing this video. I don't think many players will know this secret technique. Alright, so now that I have your utmost attention, here's the video structure. I have made the timestamps for each section of the video and you can manually click on any timestamp in the description to jump to the next part. You can also click on the video bar of the video. Any players that have made it past the dense jungle have a great understanding of goats I assume. But not many players know how to use the goats that they have access to to their maximum capacity. Well in the next sections of the video I will explain and demonstrate how you can do so. First up, some basic info that you're going to need to know for the video to make some sense or to give it more value. Once you have prepared the third runes of light, you will unlock, along with it, a goat pen. Now the thing about the goat pen is that you can only craft one more goat pen, I think, per runes of light after the third one. I don't know, I'm not sure, but what I'm trying to say is the game is limiting you to only one goat at the third runes of light, which can slow down your production of food. And I know you want food, so in this game, there's actually a way where you can bypass repairing the runes of light after the third one completely, not getting any more goat pens, and still having more goats. Now to do so, I've made it easy so the viewers can understand by listing steps on how to. So, number one, catch a goat. Number two, bring the goat back home. And number three, capture the goat forever. Those three steps should be pretty easy to understand if you can inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. So let's carry on. Now, this part of the video, most people know how to do, which is catching a goat. So just skip to this timestamp to move on to the next step of the technique. All right, number one, make lassos. To start the process of capturing a goat, you'll want to make lassos. Lassos are used to throw at the goat with the chance of capturing it. To make lassos, you need two ropes. To make two ropes, you need four bushes. And I recommend five to seven lassos because I have had the most luck with those numbers of lassos. To make five to seven lassos, you need to cut down 20 to 30 bushes. I know it could be tedious, but it would be worth it in the end. Number two, find a goat. The step of the process can be luck dependent, so don't give up too easily if you don't find one at the start. I usually find my goats at the desolate meadow, so head over there if you haven't already. Number three, catch a goat. Once your luck has given you a chance, you'll be sad to hear that this part is also luck based. Go to your inventory to use the lasso that you made before to throw it at the goat. You should be throwing it at the same square tile that the goat is on to have a chance to catch it. After a few tries of throwing the lassos, with five to seven lassos, I'd say you have a pretty good chance at it. So you're probably wondering, how can I capture a goat forever without having more goat pens? Luckily, there's always a way. Albert Einstein, 2020, I don't know. To begin your forever capture of your goat, you have to set about looking for enclosed spaces. This can be your TP, your storage, or in my situation, which I was very lucky with on this run, my own little enclosed area with the door. Now, you just have to go to your enclosed area, unleash your goat by going into your inventory and double clicking the goat slot, and now you have your own trapped goat. Wow. What an adventure you just went through to get a single goat. But I'd say it would be pretty worth it in the end. Now there are some tips and tricks I want to share to you guys to basically make the goat farm more effective. Number one, you can get more goats. Even if you have a second goat without a second pen, you can still get more goats. After a while of having one goat, I got lucky to find another goat lying around in the desolate meadow. Then I took it home and voila, I got another goat, adding to my collection of now a total of three goats. This goes to show that the only thing in your way is just luck, and you can have as many goats as you possibly want, to the point where food is never a problem, which just feels so satisfying since food has me and many other players annoyed for so long. Number two, you can always take your goat out. The positives of having a goat is of course food and the storage it gives. If you want more space while adventuring through the zones of the map, you can tag along a goat with you, and the enclosed space that your goat is in will make it easier to catch to bring along with you. You can also feed your goat during your journey to get food, but that should be a last resort kind of deal because no one should be running out of food that quickly. Number three, you can feed your goat once a day. Every goat has a timer. The timer starts whenever you have fed your goat. If you fed your goat during the middle of the day, the goat will reset its milk in the middle of the day. Try to make it so that all your goats are fed at the same time so that you can consecutively feed your goats without having to wait for uneven timers. Knowing this, come back every day to feed your goat so you can maximize your production of milk. A good way of telling if your goat can give you milk at a time is by looking at its eyes. Its eyes will tell you everything. When the eyes are open, 
that means it's able to be fed and when its eyes are closed, it cannot be fed anymore. Number four, you can only lasso one goat at a time. Sadly, I made the mistake of trying to lasso two goats at a time. This ended up wasting so much time because of all the grass cutting, then the rope making into the lasso making into the capturing the goat. So it's just a huge waste of time. So don't try to lasso two goats at the same time. It doesn't work. I think it may be like this because you only have one goat slot in your inventory. Plus having two goats with you is kind of broken. Imagine all that space. Number five, do not keep your door open when you're feeding the goats. This only applies if you were lucky enough to have an enclosed space with a door like mine. Whenever you're feeding your goats, make sure you close your door behind you because the goat might try to escape the room whenever it's open. Sadly again, I have made the mistake and it cost me so much time and it was just so annoying to do everything again to capture the goat back to put it back into the enclosed area. Yeah, don't leave the door open. It will save you some sanity. And there you have it. How to get free food using this secret goat technique. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments if this was helpful or not, what things I should change, and what things I may have said wrong in the video. I'll reply to every comment since my community is pretty small right now. If you have enjoyed the video, consider subscribing as it lets me know that you enjoyed the content. Since I have reached 150 subscribers already, my next goal will be 300 subscribers by the summer of 2021. If you have any questions or just want to talk about the game, I have a Discord that will be linked in the description for everyone to use. And also, thank you for the support on the farming video. The video basically blew up so fast. I can see that many people are enjoying the content, so I'll be making more.